hey babes what's up what's up i hope you all are feeling amazing so right now we are just shopping through crate and barrel i felt like i needed to get out and just get some inspiration lately i've just been feeling so uninspired i had no motivation so i wanted to kind of get out and touch and feel and just kind of see how the store had um their decorations out what was new um and if i could buy anything so definitely stay tuned for my crate and barrel shop with me y'all they had so many nice things and i just had to touch like almost everything <laughs> i was obsessed with their serverware they had so many different colors they had the gold um the silver the wooden ones and also the um, marble at the bottom and y'all look at the bar set up oh my gosh obsessed i did share with you all my recent um wine glasses that i also got from them when i'm feeling uninspired i do like to just get out and just kind of shop around at my favorite stores i'll go to crate and barrel pottery barn um shoot even some top names arha some other just stores where i can just kind of go and just get some inspiration from and you know i just loved looking around shopping babes this was the moment where i had freaking buyer's remorse look at this thing so y'all know i have the other um cabinet that i just purchased but this right here when i seen it i just needed to have it of course this is the piece that i do have and i was looking at this like okay i love how they had it together so y'all know when i go home i'm gonna go ahead and see how it looks in my home so driving all the way back home i just kept thinking about like if I should put the cabinet over by the credenza in y'all when I tell y'all this is super heavy so I was not about to like change it and then didn't like it and change it back so I kind of just contemplated it I asked my husband I called my grandma up and asked her what she thought and she had a really good point she thought that it just looked too matchy matchy standing next to each other with them being separated it didn't look as matchy matchy so I agreed with that I kind of changed things up a little bit I did put Rocky's chair like over in that corner because he's always looking out that window and I just hate that chair I also was able to find this chocolate brown um, throw blanket and I kind of love that I told you I wanted to go with more with a more um darker brown and i just love that so put that on there and just kind of updated some things a little bit y'all if y'all follow me on tiktok or instagram y'all saw that i went to walmart walmart kind of stepping their game up and i got these little um, bubble planters i put um a candle inside of this one and i just love how this looks y'all 2023 we are not using planters for plants anymore we're using them for other things the possibilities are endless when trying to just create unique and just chic pieces for your home you see right here i have the black one i just kind of made it into a utensil holder you can kind of do this in any way you want makeup brushes the possibilities again are freaking endless so this is the piece that i got from crate and barrel i've been eyeing this thing online and i'm really happy that i did go inside and check it out it is just so beautiful and it's heavy love it y'all let me know what you think um so i purchased it to put um on my dining table i wanted to place it as like a centerpiece i'm moving these out the way y'all i asked my husband to put these sconces up like weeks ago so now i kind of was a little subliminal and placed them on the dining room table still did not work as you can tell they still are not up <laughs> but yeah so i wanted to um place this on the dining room table just so y'all can see um what i was talking about and let me know what you think i really like it on the dining room table not with those stems though i think i would change out the stems but love it i love it love it love it but again i also love it on the cadenza y'all let me know what you think i also had it placed um on the corner where the two candles are i actually really like that as well i did a youtube short shoot i did a youtube short instagram reel and a freaking tiktok <laughs> styling this baby up so definitely go check that out if you haven't already and let me know what your thoughts do you think it look 
would look good um, on the side, kind of in the center. I placed it in the center because since I didn't have anything on the um, dining table, I thought it kind of just made it look a little fuller um, right there. And then I was just browsing through um, home since one day and I found this little marble dish. Y'all know we love a nice dish. Um, I purchased it for $8, y'all. That was like a steal. Couldn't believe it was $8. But I have um, the remote to the lamp in there. So the lamp, the light bulb is actually battery operated. I did find this um, light bulb online and I just love it that you can kind of just have it. And it does charge up from like the plug um, from the lamp. So you wouldn't really be able to um, place it in like a lamp that doesn't have um, like a plug to it. This portion of the video is sponsored by Nail Reserve. So, ladies, if you love a good gel mani and patty, this one is for you. So, Nail Reserve has high quality gel polishes, and I love that they are vegan and cruelty free. They also claim to have long lasting formula, which is great because who has time for chipped nails? So, they do offer the base and the top coat, which definitely you will need using a gel polish. Y'all know I love me some good nude colors. So, I got color red, and the name of this is BFF, and y'all, I love me a really good red see not all reds are created equal or the same if you know you know reds are just powerful red is a powerful color anyway but i just love a good red color on my nails the next i have royal nude y'all know i love me a good nude a good nude is all you need especially when you find the perfect one that really goes with your skin tone this is really similar to what i already have on um right now so yes love that my next Next color is iced coffee one y'all know we love an iced coffee but this color here is also a nude y'all know I just stay with the nude colors but it's like a nice deep mauve color which looks very well one thing that I also loved and appreciated about the nail reserve polishes they are nice and thick so that means you really won't have to like use so much polish on your nails so you're not wasting the nail polishes and the last one is swing see swing and sun again this is a very similar color to the iced coffee but it's a little bit more deeper and i love me like a nice um i guess mauve which with a little bit more brown definitely check out nair reserve if you are just interested in just finding some different colors having some colors at home or if you started purchasing your nail polishes for yourself i will have a discount code in the description box definitely check them out so moving on into my bathroom um it's not as big and spacious as i would like it to be so i kind of find ways to you know make it look as small like and as spacious as i possibly can so i will be doing just a few um just putting in some decorations in here just to kind of judge it up a little bit my shower i did want to add in some more um storage for our soap so i added in this tension pole shower caddy caddy i did find this at home goods they do have it on amazon i'll link the similar one but please go to your local home goods because they have it for much cheaper there and i thought this was really good because um it housed a lot of our soaps as you can tell we do use quite a bit of soaps in our shower from our scrubs dr broners y'all know we gotta you know cleanse and then moisturize you know love those soaps and i love this salt tear santal bloom y'all already know how i feel about santal and this smells really good as well i love having the um little tension rod because i tried the little shelving and they said it was renter friendly it was not it left that little um sticker on there that i just hate i cannot get it up so in here i do want to just kind of spruce up the countertops just a little bit like i said i don't have that much space but i do want to you know just make it look nice in these drawers i am going to add in um some organizing um units in here just to make everything look a little bit more put together and then in this drawer i do have like our extra like q-tips vaseline soaps things like that 
So in this corner, I'm going to place this face. Y'all may be familiar with this face. I did find it from Hobby Lobby. It's like a um, pottery barn dupe of the Joshua vase. And I decided to place in these pompous grass. I had these for a while and I'm just feeling a little boho chic or whatever in here. So I am going to add these in. I did find these also from Hobby Lobby. They were about $5.99. Um, per stem and that was just the regular price of course y'all know we got that on sale and I'm just gonna place these inside um, of this vase I thought to look good but we're just gonna go ahead and add in that third one since it's already um, with the bundle and I thought that looked really well countertops aren't that um, big I do want to keep everything down to a minimum of course we're going to add in a nice candle just next to it just for that scent and just for a really nice spa like feel use this marble tray I did find this at Target I want to say it was Castle Luna or Threshold not sure of that brand but I did find it at Target and I love using trays because that way you can kind of house everything together use one um, soap pump one because the sinks are not that far apart so I just place it in the middle and then I picked up this mouthwash dispenser just to kind of give it a nice aesthetic look too I purchased this from Amazon and I'm just going to pour my mouthwash in here and just place it also in the tray So over on this side, y'all, I got my water flosser. If you are not using a water flosser, like, definitely get you one. Makes a world of difference. And this deodorant right here, y'all, smells so good. And it works so good, too. So I picked up this little two-tier, um, I guess, caddy organizer from Target as well. And I'm just going to place some of my everyday uses, such as my, like, deodorant sprays and things like that in here. So I found these little trays laying around the house. I guess I was using them for something else that I wasn't anymore. So I plan on just placing them in this drawer right here for our toothbrushes. I try to just keep the countertops um, as clear as possible. Again, I do like to have like things that we use every day, but if I can, I will place them inside of a drawer and I'm just going to place our um, toothpicks and toothbrush and toothpaste in, in this top drawer here. I also wanted to change out my rug so I picked up this runner from Target I love having like a really nice fluffy rug in the bathroom and I was so happy because this rug fit to the T I thought it wasn't going to fit because of the bathroom space but it fit perfectly So to elevate any space in your room, you definitely want to add in that nice lighting. So I picked up these battery operated motion sensor lightings, the same ones that I do have in the kitchen and as well as in the cabinets in the living room. And I love these because again, like I said, they're motion sense and they only come on when it's dark. So they just won't come on pretty much any time and just wasting out the battery. Y'all, I thought I only needed two. I ordered another one, but of course it's not going to be here in time. <laughs> I didn't want to, you know, show y'all that one. But when the other one comes, I will put it on that other side right there. And I think this definitely just elevates the bathroom so much more. This is how my little mini bathroom refresh came out you know we had to light a candle and y'all I told y'all all 2023 we are using planters I actually found this little planter dish from Walmart of course and I just added it underneath this candle for a just really nice and more neutral look again like with the pompous grass I love how that looks and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below
the bathroom with the lights off y'all i definitely need to get that extra light because it will make a world of difference but yeah i love how it turned out really nice and simple and just you know really relaxing on this side this is where um i have my toilet and everything at i just placed um just two pictures some wall art right there nothing too jazzy something simple well, let me know if you like this video leave me some comments down below and if you aren't already please go ahead and click on that subscribe button i will see you all in the next video Bye bye